Sorry guys, some reason they saw for me. Notice in each muscle activation, and really notice what's happening in the body right now. Go ahead, tuck your tailbone in, suck your stomach in, tuck your chin in, hold here. And exhale, release. And this is what I mean tucking your tailbone in right here, noticing that activation here as I suck my stomach in, tuck my stomach in, pushing my belly <coughs> towards my spine. I, I'm just laughing myself, guys. Sorry. Sorry. No judgment, just being here now and just knowing that you're already on your way to lose weight, to achieve your goal. Where am I waiting to be <laughs> Yeah, you will realize he see me do yoga. In order for us to see results, we have to stay consistent. Don't give up. All right. Just a little bit to bring that in intensity here. <laughs> One more time on each side here. Switch. Nice. All right, let's come down onto our elbows here. And extend that left leg. As high as you can here, three, breathe, four, five, nice and gentle, coming back down, switch sides, nice, right side, and one, two, three, good job, four, and five, coming back to center, go ahead and move into that child's here, take a nice deep breath here. Nice, let's come back all the way down. Again, don't hold your breath here. Really allow yourself to let it go. Don't hold it. Express yourself through your breath. Allow your muscles to relax. those hips up as you tuck your stomach in <coughs> and release it back down nice and gently. And go. Breathe. I can really feel how strong my stomach is right now. Yours should be just as hard as mine is here. Just like that. So you can really feel that activation in your abdominals again. Hold here. Smile as you're feeling tension in your lower abdominals. Don't give up. Hold, hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. You can notice the difference, right? You can feel when you release that you were really activating those abdominals and working your pelvis area as well. You're strengthening that midsection. The midsection is really important uh, to have it nice and strong because it's going to really help you um, advance your practice and be able to handle more stress and things like that when you are trying to 
go a little bit harder with your training or your yoga practice and things like that. All right, let's go back into that cat and cow here. Oh, sorry. Shake your hands a little bit. This is some pressure off of your wrists. Nice hand and go ahead and let's go into that spinal balance here. Just like that. If you feel like you want to push yourself a little bit further, lift that left leg up just like that. And then switch sides. We can do this. We can do it together. Let's do it. Lift your right leg up. Breath here and switch. Again, listen to your body. If it feels comfortable for you to hold it right there, do so. If you want to push yourself a little bit, challenge yourself a little bit, lift that leg up and switch sides. I really like the spinal balance here because you are working on. You know, make the spine nice and strong. You're working those arms. You're working your core. Your entire body is engaged here, so you're definitely going to feel a little tension here. You're going to feel each muscle activation, and that's going to really allow the body to start burning the calories and being more activated here. Besides so last one here, I'm definitely feeling it in my arms here. Step, left leg here, and kick. If you can go a little bit higher in this one, to challenge yourself a little bit, go ahead, do it with me. Switch sides here, the same thing, extending that right leg, and then go as high as you can here again to really feel the activation in your glutes. It's one of your biggest muscles in your body, so it's definitely going to force the body to start using more energy, start burning more calories here by doing so. And you're working your lower back here too. So like I said, overall this flow is really good to give you a nice kick. Um, to begin your journey to losing weight, to getting stronger, getting more toner um, body, this flow is definitely for you. So go ahead, take a deep breath here. Ah, I just want to stay here now. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and go back down. I keep working that midsection here, especially for you guys. Because a really hard time dropping that belly fat. So it's really important to get that midsection stronger, nice and strong. Ugh. So that way, when we really want to go to the next level, we start sweating and pushing ourselves to the limit, past our comfort zone. The body is going to be strong and be able to handle more stress and more pressure. Things like that. All right, go ahead. Take it down and lift it up. Suck your stomach in and gently place it back down. I did something out of my comfort zone this weekend. I did uh, kickboxing, boxing. It was awesome. I'm definitely feeling my body really sore, but it's well worth it. 
I'm always looking a new way to challenge myself and push myself. You know, it really helps to not only that you get physically strong, but you also get yourself mentally prepared for this journey. You're constantly pushing yourself past limits. Let's do one more here. Get back to cat and cow. Hands, I can feel both hands, I can stomach in here. Exhale, release into cow. And sometimes these flows look kind of easy, but really they're pretty hard and intense at the same time. I like this one too because it stretches the upper back as well and stretches the spine cat and cow. Really dropping your belly down towards your mat here in your cow. I mean in your cow. <laughs> Push your shoulders back so the spine is nice and long. And let's go ahead and lift. Right here. A little bit more advanced, but even if you just lift it off the ground, even if it's one inch, do so. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Get out of the comfort zone. Switch sides here. Just a little bit, bring more intensity here. It's not difficult. Keep your core tight. If you're really ready to change your life and, and uh, get stronger and healthier, take yourself seriously. Bring this to your, make this part of your lifestyle. And I promise you, you're going to start to see differences in your life physically, mentally, spiritually. Whatever it is that you are trying to achieve, go for it and let nothing stop you from that. Let's do one more time on each side here. Switch. Wow. Man, I'm feeling that burn in my arms. What about you? Whew. Here it goes. Right here. And Let's speed it up right here. And one, two, kick it as hard, as high as you can here. Push yourself here. There you go. Working the glutes here, like I said, and working the lower back here. Let's do one more here. Nice. Gently switch sides here. I can feel my heart rate is going up as well. Last one. Ooh, all right, let's move into that child's pose here. Again, in your child's pose, have your big toes touch each other and then placing your, your glutes all the way down onto your feet here, extending those arms nice and long in front of you here. Take a deep breath. And exhale.
body is definitely starting to feel a little more stickier and sweatier from this flow. So that's a really good sign. You know when you are feeling the burn and you are starting to sweat, you know the exercises are being affected. If you're not sweating, you're not feeling the burn, my tailbone as you can see all my core here is engaged so it's really working this whole midsection and building a lot of strength here strength in your midsection like I said it's really important to have that midsection nice and strong because you, can, you will be able to handle more tension when you are pushing yourself out of your comfort zone here. Sometimes I even curve my back and just to kind of notice how this whole posture works, this movement. Just like that. If you want to a little bit uh, see it. Oh my gosh, this feels good. <sighs> One more. I'm starting to shake. Exhale. All right, good night. Just get it. All right, let's come back up. All right. That was awesome. I feel good. I feel strong. <laughs> I feel uh, I broke a little sweat here. It's really nice. Again, guys, if you want to see the difference in your body, stay consistent with this flow. Um, eat good, eat healthy, be active, you know, take a charge of your life, take a charge of the things that you want to achieve and be, and just go for it, don't let nothing stop you. Again, thank you so much for doing this challenge with me. Hi guys, I will see you my fourth video, so i see you then.